I, I guess the non-expected regions. I don't know. I think people expect the big things from Vision Strikers as well. But already, it's going to be Mixwell on that luck. Finds himself a kill and after part as well for the remainder of the team. And they're going to have to try and deal with him in the flank. Already being watched. Kesnit though, has got one back. He has, but he has no idea about Call of the Menta being down below, waiting to take him down. Really, it's just about deciding on his moment to strike. Call the Menta coming up behind, has to kind of pick up the pace, and he whiffs the first few shots. That defuse is already underway. It's already almost done. Call the Menta can't get in on time. And even despite how he performed now on the international stage, interesting factoid here. G2 have gone for a force buy, a fully invested. They're already getting the reward with Nukia grabbing a double kill. Deep nade, not gonna quite find anybody. That's a great start to what should have been for most teams in Eco. Yeah, Nukia has had an incredible tournament thus far, and I, I think his icebox was almost like the crown jewel. The, the way that he played facing off against Sentinels was fantastic. However, Kuro managed to find two back. The peaks out from G2 not going fantastically. The trade's going back and forth, leaving it all onto Delzik once again. Is he just going to try and get himself a sneaky defuse? There's no Sage Ball to help him this time. And Kellogg's is in fact... Kellogg's will have that Blade Storm online. It's popped right away! Look at Nukia dashing into A. If he finds that kill, they rotate over, and it's a free side hit onto B. Instead, they're going to have a little bit more resistance as the player above, and I think it did. That's so much for Kellogg's to play, but he now knows where both players are, and he'll get rid of both of them as well. The Blade Storm, that ult orb they claimed in the early round, crew didn't fight for it, and now they wish they did. Kellogg's showing up in a massive way. He's left down to 18 HP, smoke down to allow him to get the uh -oh. heal, but caught out in the open. What? Fowler still gets away with the frag. What? How can he possibly survive in that situation? Well, yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball Z ah! in there. Ah! I mean, in, in theory, if I've been played Sage in a long time, so I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about here. We're going back, uh, <laughs> going back in the history books right now. It's almost like we got manuals in the. Uh, and that causes some rotates to come through. Good kill by Nagzit, but only the one. Hunter's Fury deployed here, but nothing found with it. Yeah, they've managed to clear out at least a couple of the corners, knowing that the likelihood is there isn't going to be anybody there. Already look to try and push a little bit further forward again. Nukia just on four manages to find the kill onto Kesnit as they look to wrap around into the site of Ova. Almost caught a little bit here. And Klaus can push forward, but the trade is quick. Still keeping the advantage with left. G2. Yeah, tough retake for crew. They've got the weaponry to work with. They've got a res as well, but no opportunity to pull someone back online just yet. As they close in the distance, Delzik finds a frag. There's Klaus, rezzed right back up. Evolva caught down below, and Cold Ament is the last man alive. A quick double, but the spike is down in the open. Does he guess that Mazzino's up top? With eight seconds left, he needs to take the kill now, and Mazzino finds it. Crew have found two. Yeah, decent it, but then they haven't actually checked the corner. Either this is the biggest bait of all time, or, as we suspect, they have absolutely no idea the Nags is going to be there. So, a bit of a slip up again. It seemed like they, they pinged it, they had an idea, and then just didn't actually check the corner with the drone. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit unfortunate. Just a small glance downwards, everything could be different as Kaznit finds another frag. G2. Looking much worse for wear. If they can get towards the site, you can have a Viper uh -oh. pit put down, but more and more players are falling. A double kill from Klaus leaves Kellogg's all alone. And although he'll get the first, there's so many more to go. Five health, spike down, and 15 seconds left in a 1v3. Yeah, I think it's, as you sort of said, like, they ping that corner, they don't check it with the logs a little lower than before, but realistically, it's all about just hitting those first shots, and they suspect he'll be towards the back of the side, and that's exactly where Nukia goes, firing in at random, he lights Mazzino to 16 HP, but he can't take him down, and so as they go on through that Viper's Pit, they are... Again, I, I, I'm liking the setup, they're, they're being quite dynamic. Mazzino... Let's actually peek into this one, even they needed a miracle shot to find anything there, and the time Ten is still ticking left. relatively Ten low, and thankfully Nagsa is there to close it. But yeah, I like most of it, but even still a peek out here could be a little bit risky. He's going to catch the arm of Cold Amenta. Leave him in the dirt, look to hold the angle further, they've still not cleared him. He's surviving on the edge of the snake fight, and finally he falls. Kellogg's again with this blade storm, giving them some hope. This round should be all about damage, but with a Blade Storm and a Vandal, Sight Control and possibly a Plant, this is now starting to look doable for G2. An Operator is retrieved as Nukia falls, and Kellogg's is going to have to be the savior. Arez comes in onto Cold Amenta, the shot whiffed.
Kellogg goes back down to the plate. Storm a headshot. Needed. Oh, no. And the dismiss is perfectly timed. It's all up to Coldamenta in a 1v2. The time not quite on his side, but what a shot to bring it into the 1v1. Spectre in hand as he looks to peek and still sticking oh. in. Kesnit takes him down. Just he manages to grab those valuable He's openings, and once it. again, that's what he'll be finding. With Mixwell down, Viper Utility is also out of the round. Yeah, this is starting to look a little bit rough from G2. Another pick from Nags to put them two men down. This plant has been something very low. The drone looking to try and spar these aggressive positions. Upon UK has no choice but to try and get more aggressive. The movement is just beautiful, though, and he's given his team a chance alongside Cold Aventa and Avova, who's found another. Delzik having to make this clutch happen, but an ice wall in his possession. He could potentially buy himself a little bit of time to get that defuse at least halfway. They're spraying through, not quite catching him yet. He goes for the fight. He needs to take them down now. The time is too low, and he finds the first, but that is all he'll get. He's going to try and hide off the back of his teammate, but oh dear, this could be a problem. He's going to try and sit within it, not expecting them to clear him after that long, but UK is still going to be there to check it. Already a double man opener, and actually the peek in. He's going to get dropped. Oh! It's a little bit awkward, but he will get himself the kill. Even dash out of there. The Blade Storm online to confirm another triple kill for him. This has been a crazy half for Kellogg's. He's eventually dropped. Oh, guys, uh, let's relax. Um, They're hunting him down. They really wanted to take Nags out of the game, but now he's in a 1v2. Time limited. If he finds his first pick, things could really spiral out of control. Really running out. He's got to just dive in and look to find these kills. So 180 kill them. And he knows this is going to be happening. There it is. Seven rounds at the halftime for G2. And, and overall, big side. And they're really closing in the distance. Grabbing the plans already. Nice nade going down with the snake bite yet again. And so Mazzino will fall. G2's utility has been on point. It's such a tight game. They need much more. And Mixwell down to the aggressive play coming out of Klaus. That's what we know him for. And crew have taken the man advantage. For a second. Oh yeah, it's not lasted long at all. In fact, they're all getting slaughtered. It's left all on to Klaus. One versus two, and the right clicks are not going to be great in this scenario. The wall hasn't actually sectioned him off. He could just walk straight around it. The angle is being held, though, by Cordamenta, and they opt to fight it together. G2 will claim the second pistol round, a push he might have liked. Wall actually not in play here, so getting the spike down is actually going to be fairly difficult. Other than the screen, they have nothing to defend themselves. Yeah, I think they're just trying to force the fights, and they've taken Mixwell down. Now the opportunity to plan is, is there. 20 seconds left. As you can see, the aggression down through spawn is working out for them through. Really getting away with murder to start this one off. And Klaus, potential clutch doesn't go his way, but I, this one... Spike planted. Did they... They didn't spot Avova. He's got them completely off guard. Oh! Delzik turns, but not in time to save Mazzino. Still, one kill has been found. Yeah, and they're getting slaughtered. It's left all onto Delzik. The dragon cleanses Ooh. it out. He's already managed to find himself a couple. Ooh. The right clicks could do it. But Nuke just about. They will have to play a retake against these weaker weapons, though, and that's never going to be ideal. A couple of pieces of utility from crew that I'm sure they wish they had online right now. In particular. You're looking at a sage wall. I mean, imagine if you still had one right now. Pop it down. There's a shock oh, dark no. kill on the nags. That's a big blow right away. The operator really not connecting. I mean, he's just gone in. Nukia giving a kill for free. Oh! And the great in the corner. He takes three kills. And Kellogg's is all alone. The operator looking to run and save. But he can't even get away. Mixwell. Oh, no. They haven't spotted Kellogg's up above. So dangerous to walk into that angle like that. And now with Mazzino gone, no Viper's Pit on the other side, they try to sneak above, but... Well, he's going to use up his knives, but he's already found a rifle. Yeah. Still with that Phantom to play with, and Delzik goes down right Five away. Down this is looking pretty good for G2, and a 5 versus 2. Is that they are starting to run out of rounds to play with. G2, they're going to make it to 11, and now we wait to see so much damage in main. There was no real opening for crew to take in that round. This time there is though, with a Vova drop right away, and they are looking to up the pace, moving towards the B site quite quickly. Hunter's Fury barely misses to take down Cold Dementa and Kellogg's. That could have been huge, but at least those players are low. Yeah, they've been tagged incredibly you by the operator. In particular, this is risky from Mix. One, well, he's going to be spotted out. Mazzino, that's so important, and he drops Cold Dementa as well. Big. This out, he misses the first shot. And 
I have to say, so far here on Icebox, I have not been impressed by Kellogg's on that operator. He has been with you here. Here's the steps now as they move away. Let's fight. Here. Into pushing this beast. Oh my god, what a shot out of Kellogg's. Here we go. Now he's starting to show up. Mazzino looking to take that peek, and he goes the exact same way as the rest of his team. That was even a tag out of the man himself. Leaving Delzic on 20 HP. He'll start to heal up, but up against an operator. It wouldn't matter point now. And Kellogg's hits 20. Who was on his way towards it, but he's going to fall back to cover me. Kesner now looking to lead the charge once again. He's been doing fantastic. Well, does a Mobra actually check the top? He's going to get boosted over. And now they have themselves the Viper's Pit to get into this afterplant. Even going to reposition where they actually plant the spike to leave it in the open. Kellogg's can't quite land the shot, but Coldementa has got rid of Delzig. That's him out of the round. He's been one of the more clutch players so far for crew. Because of over was taken down, no res to play with. Showstopper, pinpoint accurate, in with the oh. Hunters. Fury for a double tag up, and this is absolutely clean from G2. Kellogg's will be taken down, but Kesden needs another big play. The spike is being stuck. It's almost fully diffused, and he can't get out of there to take the kill. 13 is a really terrifying prospect, so yeah, exciting to see it. Uh, new players in so that they're not aware that Kesden is already in the corner, but he's now being spotted. <laughs> Kellogg's has been tagged incredibly low. We're seeing darts being lined up, and this could be the death of Cold Amenta. An awkward fight, but one that is won, and the remaining defenders are locked out of the sight. They haven't even really done any damage here either. Yeah, strong start for crew now just looking to take down the final three players on G2. Hot hands into the corner, not going to reach Mazzino. He's obviously tucked up behind that ice wall. They can just wait, wait for these players to crunch on in. Mazzino runs out and takes the fight. It looks like you have to be punished for it, for it to really matter. And that's where G2 need to come in strong now. Kellogg's holding down as they push out of the short. And he still gets <laughs> What is that? How oh, with the blade storm for a fourth? How? Oh, he got flashed. He had his back. And he still eliminates the entire team! And I'll give him a couple more brownie points, but he gets it done with the even harder direction. That was disgusting. That also was so disgusting. Was that, yeah. There's Nuke, you take. Is he gonna check? Of course he will. And well, actually, oh. Kellogg's goes pushing and doesn't find the kill. So it's a couple of openers now coming through for crew and a response desperately needed for G2. So they're gonna try and get a little bit more aggressive here. Party. For the most part, the Cold Amenta could potentially get here in time. Ten seconds left. If they could just deny the plant, things could look fantastic. Shock darts in, but they won't take him down. They'll light him to low HP. But in the end, the plant goes in for... That was a strong round. Great damage done towards the A side to start it off. They're going to have an immediate one-minute push out of crew. They're going in towards the C side of Bova on the back and a miss Blade Storm. That's going to be dangerous. Mixwell's still alive and good for a second kill, but they've already dealt with the Vova, so the site is now theirs. That wall down to block them out. I doubt Kellogg's tries to make too aggressive of a play through it. They'll wait for his teammates, and with Nukia still having a curveball, two in fact, online. They have a good shot of entering back into this site. He's trying to bait them out a little bit, but Delzik is going to land the shot initially. Mazzino. It's decent timing on the peak, and with both players coming through this angle, it seems almost impossible. Coldamenta desperately low, and the bullets don't quite connect. Called out the Odin, and I'm a big fan of this weapon. Really? In case you don't know. Oh, but I it is know. a little bit harder to use when it comes to this map. What isn't harder to use is the Op and the Vandal, and we've already seen picks come in with those weapons to give a two-man advantage to G2. Yeah, the Operator always going to be giving the opportunity We're to Kellogg's to take extra ground, especially nice. on a map like this, and Cold Amenta, you're not even smiling. You do, do. A tough position Last now. Nags finds one, Spike but look who's on the backside. Nuke, you're ready to take him down, swinging in. But he's going to have to fall back. This time around, no kill to a utility. Oh, lock no. down the seaside. Cold Amenta takes down one right away. A Volva looking for damage, spraying through with a silencer. They can't find the tracers, and they can't find the kills. Crew! Completely whittled down to just two players. Mazzino on the back side after healing up receives a knife to the face. And now... So. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Mixwell keeps on going and grabs a double. Spike Wall bangs not just reserved for the LMG and the HMG, I suppose. He is taken down eventually, though, in that aggression. Problem is, Spike is down on short. 
That was... Uh, notice this is... This is quite terrible with 12 seconds left, but Colors goes back to clear the angle. Mags is now down. He's out for more and out for blood. One player remaining. No time and no... You should Give run. up the position. Shot from Kellogg's land in. They're not going to check the corner and this just gives free roam for Mixwell to find three kills. Any danger in this round? haven't gone back. Still though, Kellogg's just fighting this and actually finds him through the edge of his own smoke. Hot flash going to be coming through, which will force him back off the angle. He's still feeling confident to repeat this, and I am genuinely terrified for when they opt to face into this angle. So ready, so much control taken, and you can see the confidence out of G2 at this point. Rarely you see the the wall used like that to just get him out of position. In fact, you rarely ever see it deployed. Elox, good for one. No follow-up on it. It's a 4v2, though. That You know what? Considering how he's been playing, we'll give him that. He can play a little bit more aggressive on that, and he's got teammates remaining. to work with. Mixwell shutting down Mazzino to leave Delzic in the 1v4. Although he'll get the first, there's plenty. And it looks like aggression is going to be that solution, at least in the early stage of the round. Kellogg's, though, he's just not stopping. Mizzino at least puts the brakes on a little bit. The fact that he had garage and mid control. Their side got a little something, something to play with. The Molly in hand, ready to deploy. And that's going to cut off some of the roots. It doesn't even matter, though, because look at the HP. Look at how low Delzic was. That's why the Hot Hands and the Nano Swarm are on their way, pushing Mazzino into the open where he can be taken down. Avova doubling up, tripling up his kills. Let's go, Avova, who's already got three. He's just completely open the A side. I don't think he might have heard us. He needs to push past the point where he can actually kill them. But by the looks of it, he does. Seek is invested. A lot being put into this round. He's taken some control, but the push through only grants a trade. It still keeps the defense in the advantage. They're also going to throw in the res. They know how important this round is, and only two players currently still stand. It's left all on 12 over. A one versus five. The defuse will already happening. And Nags will be there. Going to be the point man to walk right on in. The turret catches him to start a big whiff. As Delzic takes him down, but he will be eliminated on the fallback. Goldamenta again with the wall bang frags. That knife coming out. Could have been a little bit dangerous if it wasn't for the cover up behind. Oh, nice shot from Klaus. That's a huge kill to give them an opportunity in this round. They also have the ability to retake here, and the heals can be given over. Vova needs to hit some solid timing. Has the paranoia to hold them back, but the flash is even better. Pushing them into position. Both lockdowns put in at once as Kesnit finds the trade. It's left on to Vova once again, and he has to destroy the ultimate before he can get anywhere near the spike. The fact is, though, they've not got on the defusal. He'll push through the smoke and find himself another. It's left on to the one versus one. And Nags looks to try and get it halfway. Avova looking to sneak his way back through. The bait has been taken. And Nags will keep them in the round. The Nano Swarms to be used up right away. Oh, and he even gets no. away with a frag. The Molly slows down any sort of rotation. And this is selling to crew that this is a B hit. But in fact, there's still players waiting outside A. Well played by Nags to still cover that angle. But Kellogg's eliminating Delzic means the seaside has fallen. And unless Mazzino goes for a ludicrous uh, play. He's just on the site through a smoke. Catching Avova off. Guard. That was strange. It's a three versus two, but low HP on a kill. Oh, doesn't actually standing. connect. There's a few whiffs coming through. That could be the difference for crew. They had opportunities in this round, but there is no choice but to try and be finals. Want to push forward? We go kicking it off. The, the blade storm, excuse me, used up by Nags. He is slowly creeping up. Mazzino. Trapped oh. in the corner, the wall broke, and he has absolutely no way out. They know he hasn't crossed because of the molly that's in play. Kellogg spots him out, and now they'll just peek him together, shutting down. Oh, Kellogg's in for another! It's not just the Sage that falls, but Jet as well. And the A site now completely open as they start to push on through. An attempted flank by Klaus caught, and a four versus two. Crew, this might just be the end of the road for the Latam team. Uh, almost an impossible scenario, but Delzic does manage to kick it off with at least an opener. He has his cosmic divide as well, so could potentially look to try and section these players out as they make a move back into the A site. A passive hold for the majority of the players on the G2 side. Hold a mentor in this corner, it could be there, he could be isolated, and in fact he's going to get both kills!